I'd like to go back to the story of Ummu Ayman. Very, very important person in the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he married Khadija bint Khuwailid radiallahu anha, she still looked after him, meaning she was still serving him. And he decided to free her at the time because he inherited her from the mother, from his own mother. And he freed her. And later on, when Islam started and Nubuwa, prophethood came, one of the first people to accept Islam. It is reported she was one of the first women after Khadija bint Khuwailid radiallahu anha was Ummu Ayman. She was working with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa a woman from Africa who was a slave, who was freed. Listen very carefully, it brings tears to the eyes. She accepted the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You are definitely a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I've watched you from the moment you were born and I know what's going on. And she outlived Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Later on in the life of Ummu Ayman radiallahu anha, the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam decided to make an announcement. What did he say? Whoever wants to marry a woman from Jannah, she, they should marry Ummu Ayman. Imagine. Whoever wants to marry a woman from Jannah should marry Ummu Ayman. This woman who was married before, she was the mother of Ayman. She had had a child before, previously. On top of that, she was a slave. On top of that, she was from Africa. On top of that, she looked after Muhammad sallallahu He freed her. And now he is saying, whoever wants to marry a woman from Jannah should marry Ummu Ayman. And who got up and married her? None other than the most beloved to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Zayd ibn Haritha. He was much younger than her much younger than her. He married her. And who did she give birth to? She is the mother of Usama bin Zaid radiallahu an, one of the youngest leaders of the Muslim armies. She is the mother, Ummu Ayman. And where did she pass away? She passed away later on in Medina Munawwara and is buried in Baqi' radiallahu anha wa anis sahabiyyati wa anis sahabati ajma. May Allah be pleased with all the sahaba radiallahu anhum. They sacrificed their lives. And look at these people. It is reported that Zayd ibn Haritha was very, very white in complexion. And Usama bin Zayd was very dark in complexion. So much so that people used to accuse the child of being not from this particular father. Until one day, they, they were sleeping in the masjid. And the two feet were sticking out of the other side of the cover, the sheet. And one mutlaji, a person who was an expert in lineage, he came and as he's walking past, he didn't know the story. He looked at the feet and he says, Inna hadhi al-aqdam ba'duha min ba'd. These feet, some of them belong to the other. They are part of one, one and the same. So everyone was relieved to say, Subhanallah. People used to say things. So the complex, sometimes it comes from the lineage, from the family. His mother was from Africa. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. May we be from amongst those who understand and realize. Look at where we are today. Sometimes we go backwards. And yet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam making a beautiful announcement. And this was Ummu Ayman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her.